Yep, that's me. You might be wondering how I ended up in this situation. Well, let me tell you. This is me, Zach Shinar from Birmingham, Alabama. Growing up, I hated sitting still. I was always on the move, whether it be sports, school, or service. And with that came involvement in a variety of different organizations, teams, and unique opportunities. Was it a lot? Sometimes. But you only live once. And this mentality has led me through experiences I never would have imagined, which included getting into the realm of service. I wouldn't say there was one moment that sparked my interest in volunteering. I just enjoyed giving back to the community. Along the way, I learned that there are many ways to give back. Whether it be talking with people at a soup kitchen during the holidays or coordinating a school-wide book drive to give to a nonprofit, every action had its own purpose and meaning. Thanks to my parents who were great role models, I took this to heart in everything I did, even if it was a roller coaster along the way. Sports, school, and service have been pillars in my life, and it did not stop once I got to Swanee. Freshman year, walking into the unknown, I was fighting for playing time in soccer, taking the hardest classes I ever had in my life, and constantly looking for directions around campus, all while trying to figure out how to log my hours on gift pulse. Eventually, I got settled in, and I worked at two sites my freshman year, Pelham and Westwood. I enjoyed them both because I would provide elementary and middle school students with homework help and tips on how to stay active and healthy. It was a fun time, bonding with the kids and providing guidance. While it was fulfilling, it just wasn't for me. I probably should have known that working at Westwood ESL program without having knowledge of Spanish would not last. And so, fast forward, this is where I became a sophomore senior intern. While I didn't realize that I would become accustomed to the yellow walls of the BC and become best friends with, you guessed it, Give Pulse, I knew that working from within the Bonner program was my fit. I wanted a structure to my work instead of change that would occur at my current sites. I wanted to help this program run as best as possible, and I was thrilled to begin. But before I could truly get into my work as a senior intern, COVID happened. I won't go into much detail because it affected all of us in every aspect of life. But in short, this is the part of the roller coaster that's not fun. It was a tough year, yet we stuck it out, or at least I thought. Beginning of junior year, I got injured in my first soccer game. It was tough in every aspect. It sucked missing the first two weeks of school. It sucked missing the first two weeks of Bonner. It sucked being on crutches. But while I didn't have soccer, I still had an obligation to Bonner, and this helped me focus on something other than the injury. I got more involved, specifically with accountability and data collection, as well as helping facilitate meetings. Being more involved allowed for meeting more people, and for that, I'm grateful. In this case, and in most cases it seems, when one thing goes south, something else looks up. Something I keep in mind when things don't always turn out the way they should. And now for the grand finale. Senior year has been awesome. Great comeback soccer season. Successful capstone projects centered around transportation options in the South Cumberland Plateau. Officially the eldest senior senior intern. And a great plan for the future. It all comes full circle. I've been blessed with being involved in a variety of things on campus. Too many to name. But Bonner has definitely had a profound impact. Even though my math major, politics minor, and civic and global leadership certificate cover a variety of areas, I was able to apply many of the things I learned in my Bonner work. With that being said, I want to give a shout out to some people in this program that have helped me along the way. Shout out to Robin and Morgan, the unsung heroes, the backbones of the Bonner and Canale program, the real MVPs. Even if they questioned or laughed at my awesome and sometimes absurd ideas, we still use them most of the time. Shout out to the senior interns. I wouldn't want to spend every second of the week in the Hatchet House with any other group. And most importantly, shout out to the seniors, especially the OG group. We made it. We had to deal with so much during our college experience, but in the end, we prevailed. I'm excited to keep up with everyone's successes, and I look forward to reuniting at Sterling's with lunch paid for by the OCE tab. So what's next? Next year, I'm committed to the College of Charleston in South Carolina to continue my soccer career and attend grad school and eventually hope to pursue a future in sports analytics. While my time on the mountain is coming to a close, the influences and events that I've been privileged to experience have definitely been worth it. I'm excited for what is next and will always remember the times I've had at Swanee. Love you all, and I hope that our paths will one day cross again.